Hi guys, so, right, this was, today has been a shocking day, it's 5am in the morning here, yet again another morning time that I go to bed and we are going to talk about Chris Ariola loses to Andy Ruiz, Sh Chris Ariola knocks down Andy Ruiz in, if I'm right, round one, he does a one-two, catches him at equilibrium and uh, Andy Ruiz goes down, second round, Andrew Ruiz gets shaken again, back to back twice. Ariola, um, I have to make a, an apology because I thought this fight was going to be done in four rounds. Um, Ariola brang the smoke. Don't get it twisted. Ariola brang the smoke. He continued to walk Andy Ruiz down until I would say it got to about. Mm, Maybe about round, say probably about the round seven mark. You saw Andy Ruiz get like a second wind. He was pretty much too laid back. His punch resistance seemed to be low. I would basically say that Ariola, even though he came in at 238 and Andy Ruiz is coming at two, 250 something, Andy Ruiz had a lot of loose skin. Um, I don't think he's as fit just because he's lost the weight as we'd like to believe and he would like us to believe. I was always um, a bit uh, disappointed that Andy Ruiz was still in the 250 bracket. Andy Ruiz isn't a massively tall fighter. Andy Ruiz should have been coming in in about the 240 bracket, to be honest. But I just think Andy Ruiz struggles a lot with his weight, so it may be a hard achievement. But anyway, on to the fight. So um, they're trading, they're trading, but Andy Ruiz has got ridiculously ridiculously fast hand so he did catch I had to catch up uh i think eddie reynoso probably had some words and he kind of got a second wind and but Ariola in a clinch got andy ruiz with double with a double uppercut andy ruiz did fight back and score with a double and if i'm if i remember right a triple a triple a triple drab um every time he pointed on Ariola. Ariola was like, no, nope, sorry. <laughs> a lot of the time. So there was mutual respect between the two fighters, but Ariola was just telling him, no, nope, that's not hurt hurting. But then I'm not sure which round it was, which seemed to be the deal breaker that Ariola got punched in the elbow, which kind of retracted, I think, his shoulder back, which he kept shaking it out and shaking it out. And it seemed to be a hindrance that I think it was his left. Um, I think that's where it went a bit pear-shaped and Ariola yeah, it kind of dipped. But guys, in my humble opinion, yet again, this was a night of upsets. Uh, I think... Mm, I think it... I think that was so close that that could have been... That could have been really an Ariola win. Judges had Ariola winning only one round. That was ridiculous. It was like 118 to... 110 or something like that just silly just silly scores judges like i think we really need to go back to school to judging school um andy ruiz proceeded to get booed by the crowd because he came with an excuse saying you know he had to build himself back up again and lose we don't want to hear that andy ruiz the crowd consistently booed him and andy ruiz was like yeah you can boo me and uh, yeah, Andrew Ruiz knew he didn't win that fight. Not how he should have, anyway. You know, basically said, you know, like Dr. Dre say, he said, you can all suck my doo about the judges. Um, not happy. And he was like, we can run it back. Andrew Ruiz was like, yeah, we can run it back if the promoter, if the promoter wants it. Uh, no, Chris Ariel was like, run that back. Yeah. That's what we will do. 40, so what? 40 years, so what? I am so shocked at Ariola. Of, it was amazing. But guys, wrapping this up. Chris Ariola loses to the former unified heavyweight champion, Andy Ruiz, the destroyer, junior. Anyway. Buenas noches a todos. Hey girl, it's Liri Shamrep, nonetheless. Come box with Shan. Gone!